This is Twit. Today, I am honored to talk to Joshua Gans. He is a Stanford grad and professor of strategic management at the Rotman School of Management. He's the author of several books, including The Distru- Disruption Dilemma, Information Wants to Be Shared, and Parentonomics. And But today, we're talking about his newest book, Prediction Machines, The Simple Economics of Artificial Intelligence. Thanks for coming on, Joshua. Oh, it's good to be here. Thanks. Uh, so what makes an economist's look at AI different than a business manager or uh, another kind of scientist? Well, I think economists have a way, uh, I guess, of stripping something down. Uh, we're not big on the hype. We're not uh, that interested in uh, uh, pushing things uh, uh, and overselling them. And so we try to work out what thing, what things really are. Uh, and basically, when it comes to something like artificial intelligence, uh, what that means is uh, thinking, what does this new technology really do? And can I relate it to something that I, as an economist, really care about, like cost? And that's basically the perspective we give. And so I know part of this is is hype, um, but when a lot of people talk about AI now, they're, they're like, oh, is, do you want Skynet? This is how you get Skynet and, um, you know, robot apocalypse. I'm as guilty as any about talking about it. But I, I think when often when we talk the, in those terms, we're ignoring um, what's really happening, the, the smaller things, that, the way that AI is really changing things. So talk a little bit about the way AI is, is changing businesses or has changed businesses um, already. Yeah, I, I mean, I like to talk about uh, Terminator and Skynet as well. That's much more fun yes, <laughs> than the day-to-day reality. Uh, I mean, the way that, you know, compare, compared to the sort of robot apocalypse, what we've really got now is an improvement in statistics. Now, it's a big improvement, but it's an improvement in statistics. And as we've titled our book, Prediction Machines, what it's enabling people to do is use a much larger corpus of data uh, in order to get predictions about things we you know, didn't think were possible uh, to predict. And that's what the artificial intelligence is doing. Prediction's an important part of so many decisions that uh, we make. Uh, we use it all the time without really thinking about it. Uh, you know, it's not just uh, uh, thinking about, uh, you know, what are we going to wear today and what the weather's going to be like, which is an obvious uh, way one might use prediction. But also just in, you know, when you uh, are catching a ball or something like that, you are using prediction to work out the trajectory of the object. Uh, and also when you're driving a car, you're using prediction to work out you know, not just where everything is. Uh, You don't necessarily have a a fully clear map in your head. You're taking inputs and you're working out what to do. So where prediction is being, where where these new uh, machine learning tools and AI are being used now uh, is uh, to predict things uh, that we've been predicting before. So a lot of businesses are taking the data that they have and are saying, well, how can I use this to predict some important things about, you know, forecast my sales and things like that. Uh, There are technology companies that are, of course, using it in new domains. So you will have Google being using prediction uh, and Facebook and others using prediction to identify uh, what's in a photo. Uh, Now, what they're what they're they're not really identifying it. What they're doing is predicting what would a human call the thing in a photo? Uh, and sometimes when they get better still, uh, they're able to uh, attach those labels where even people can't see what the thing in the photo is, such as trying to diagnose whether a tumor is malignant or not, as in the case of sort of radiology. So those are the kind of things that uh, are currently being done uh, with uh, artificial intelligence, and we're seeing some of the effects of that. Uh, the really interesting thing is, what, what is this going to open up in the future? Uh, 